How do you design prompts that increase user productivity? Welcome to Salesforce Admins Innovate with Prompt Builder. I'm your host, Ella Marks, and today the admin relations team is here to tell you how you can use your designer's mindset to build prompt templates grounded in your data. Let's hear from Josh to learn more. Greetings, everybody. Josh Berg, an admin evangelist over here in Audience Relations, here to talk to you about Prompt Builder. We're going to look at the templates, and we're going to look at a bit about attaching data to prompts. Now, the four different kind of templates that we have, we have sales email templates, very straightforward. This is to send something that's going to go outward to somebody. Uh, it's something that you can control the size and the tone of, while also attaching it to data about the person that you're sending it to. Field generation is meant to be able to create content for a specific field that you can put, for instance, on a page layout. And you can look at one object, but you can also look at that object's related data, and you can ground the field using that related data to say things like create a little summary about all the activities that the account has been doing. Record sum summary is very similar to field generation. It allows us to once again take an object and take its related data. However, very specifically, this is uh, designed to work within Copilot. Copilot summarizing uh, an account or an opportunity or contact is a very common use case for Copilot, and this allows you to really control that. And finally, we have our good friend Flex. Flex is kind of our catch-all miscellaneous template in case the other ones aren't doing the job for you. Flex is very straightforward. It allows you to pick up to five different objects and or resources and then use those when, in, when you're grounding the data into the template to create new content. Now, we talk about data, and we talk about grounding that data. We talk about grounding the prompt. And trust me, when you start talking about AI, you're going to hear the word grounding a lot. You're going to say the word grounding a lot. It's very instrumental to getting the AI to do what it wants. It's providing context to the AI so that it has a better idea of the relevancy and the accuracy that it's trying to give you in the response. And the wonderful thing about Einstein 1 is that Einstein's already clocked right, locked in, right into all of your CRM data. It has Flow Builder for adding some logic. It has Data Cloud for adding in your integrated system and external data if you need to make callouts. And all of this is still within Einstein 1. And everything you're doing when you're working with the prompts is working within the Einstein 1 trust layer as well. And so this gives you a, a wide wealth of data to make your answers more interesting, make your prompts more interesting. But also, if we think about it in reverse, it allows us to take a template and use that template over and over again against different accounts, different contacts, di different opportunities, any custom object, et cetera. Okay, so let's talk about the prompt itself. Let's improve the prompt that we're looking at here in prompt one. Now, technically prompt one is perfectly good English, create a quick case summary and it says what I want the AI to do. But we really need to provide the AI enough context so that it knows really precisely what it is that we're trying to write. And so you as the human, you know, you're in charge of tone, of length, of, you know, what kind of things you wanted to bring in and put into the, the summary. So here in prompt two, we see a much better, much more written out context of summarize the contents of the comment bodies of related case comments along the text from the case subject, case priority, and case type. Keep the response to a single short paragraph. Think like you were talking to a human. If you wanted something closer to prompt two versus prompt one, a human reading prompt two will know a lot more about what you're trying to get from this prompt. Same as the AI. But these are still missing one very vital thing, data. In order for it to really be successful, it's got to look at the data that you wanted to pull into. And Prompt Builder, once again, makes it very easy to do. And so here we see the various points in Prompt Th. Anything that you see in color has been put in through Prompt Builder's resources. And they line up to specific things upon the record itself. Okay, now we've seen what a good prompt looks like. Let's just take a quick look at how that looks in Prompt Builder. And here it is. And you can see we have that exact same prompt right here within Prompt Builder. And everything we see colored and highlighted, that has been pulled out of the resources so that we can look at the exact case, the information about that case, and allow Einstein to generate a prompt grounded in that data. And we'll see a lot more about Prompt Builder in the upcoming videos. Thank you, everybody.
Josh just shared four types of prompt templates and how you can ground your prompt templates in data to create more relevant responses. To continue learning, make sure to check out these resources. First, watch our next video, Build and Deploy Prompts in Five Steps. Make sure to check out this blog post. And finally, get hands on. Show us what you've built with Einstein. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time in the cloud. Awesome, man.